Hey Pisces, welcome to a love reading for March 2019. If you're single, um, I have done this before and I'm doing it again because then I know for sure that I will actually deal with people who are single. So just shuffling the cards right now. And Marina, by the way. We end with your card, <laughs> the Page of Cups. Okay, I hope this isn't too dark. Um, it is overcast outside, and I, I haven't turned on all my lights. I probably should have. <laughs> um, so the status of your love life right now is represented by the Ace of Pentacles. You may have already uh, started talking to somebody or may have recently started dating someone, um, the ace is a beginning of something. So whether this is a new job that you have uh, recently begun and you've seen somebody's caught your eye at work, I'm not sure. Um, the earth signs, which pentacles are connected to, are Taurus and Virgo and Capricorn. Virgo is your opposite sign. So I don't know if... Um, Pisces people find themselves drawn to Virgos. Um, I could certainly see it just based on that fact alone. But in any case, um, let's keep going, seeing what comes up here. In the past position, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is a Taurus energy. Uh, one thing I want to say, though, uh, getting back to the Ace of Pentacles, is that in terms of the status of your life right now, you may be looking for a permanent relationship. Again, you may have had relationships where uh, they didn't last as long as you wanted them to. And so you're like, I want to start out a relationship the right way. Uh, in that past position of the Knight of Pentacles, it could be that you have been working so hard that you haven't had time for that. So I would even say with the Ace of Pentacles that some of you may be thinking of you want to have a serious relationship because you want to start a family. Maybe um, especially if you're in your 30s and you've kind of put off the whole um, serious relationship thing because you were just trying to get established in your career. Knight of Pentacles is, a, is one of those worker bees, the people that just really plot away. That's why it is associated with Taurus, because um, it's a card of somebody who just like puts one foot in front of the other and just day after day is working and accumulating money. This is a card of somebody who really wants that financial, um, you know, savings and all the things that go along with it. I used to um, connect this card to Capricorn, another earth sign, but because I was thinking in terms of like, you know, being driven to make money and things. But I can see the Taurus connection better now because there is this constancy, consistency, you know, where the person just is, has a very good work ethic and is just totally focused on the material. And so if I apply that to some of you, you may have felt like, okay, now I've got that settled and now I'm looking to start a family and you know not feeling like okay you know am I going to meet this person and wanting to, to to have it but you want that kind of um oh what's that word like um you want you want a relationship that is reliable that sounds like a a car <laughs> Um, there's another word I'm looking for, but you know, you want a long lasting relationship, but there's another word I'm looking for. Um, a relationship you can count on. Um, yeah, whatever. So what crosses you is the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Very interesting. What could be going on with this? This could be like some kind of a ha uh, pattern that you have. Um... 
Well, since we're talking about pentacles here, and, you know, I've got this one, we got this one, even though it's with a, a major arcana card, it is connected to Capricorn, another pentacle, though. Um, perhaps there are some of you Pisces who are too into the financial um, situation where, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to think about, can any of you have Venus in Capricorn? I think you could. I think you could. Venus can't be too far from the sun, but uh, it's only two signs away from you, so it, you could have it. Especially if you have Venus in Capricorn, be careful, because, and your moon could be in Capricorn too, because you could be the kind of Pisces person who is overly practical to the point where you focus only on the other person's earning capacity, how much they have in the bank, what kind of car they drive. Not because you're just like a complete gold digger, but that you might have come from a background of financial lack. And so you want that person, you, you know, you're fearful, fear-based about it. And so this is the challenge, is that you may be turning away love, pushing away love in favor of the cold hard cash. And, to, and so there may be somebody that you are more uh, connected to emotionally that you uh, look down upon or just kind of look, um, it wouldn't be like you look down on them as a human being, but that you dismiss from your uh, potential partner list because they're not bringing in the bucks that you think that they should. And um, I think that this is one of those situations that for somebody like Pisces, that's going to come back to bite you more than it would if I was doing a reading for a Virgo person, okay? Because Virgo sun signs are not that emotional, but Pisces are. And so you value that spiritual connection, that soulful uh, heart-centered connection more than a, an earth sign or an air sign does. And so if you don't have that real sense of love in your life, I think you will regret it. I think you will feel, you will miss it. And you will feel like your uh, life isn't complete. And that would be a shame because then you wouldn't have the kind of relationship that you deserve. And all because you were trying to make um, that uh, moolah, or, you know, not make it, but, but attract it into your life. Um, and um, the advice is represented by the devil card. Uh, I haven't gotten this guy lately. <laughs> uh, this card is connected to Capricorn, as I said. But what is the planet that rules Capricorn, Saturn. Do you notice how Satan and Saturn <laughs> are connected? So the devil card is about that, that kind of thing that keeps us in chains, keeps us ensnared. So we talk about addiction, particularly. We're talking about over-materialism. So this is right along the lines of what I've been saying here. And um, greed, you know, could be part of uh, the, the, the devil card. So the point being that we have to, uh, or you, don't, don't bring me into this, you, Pisces, singles Pisces people, um, you guys have to begin to see your relationships um, in a more spiritual light. I can't believe I'm saying this when it comes to <laughs> Pisces, probably the most spiritual sign. But you, so, you know, I always have to say some of you because I, I can't just act like you're all a monolith. You know, some of you are going to be totally spiritual. And some of you, uh, usually based on fears that dominate, may be too concerned about um, or maybe overly concerned about finances, and that can uh, do you in, in terms of finding the person who re you really is your partner. Because, you know, if you pick somebody based on finances, um, and then you're like, where's the love? You only have yourself to blame, don't you? So just keep that in mind. 
what's coming in is represented by the Six of Pentacles. This is a card, now even this card, he's, he's giving to somebody that's in need. This is a card of balance, that's why he's holding the scale. So it's about give and take. But one of the things about give and take that people never mention is that give and take can simply mean that both people contribute to the relationship in their own way. Um, for some people, their main contribution is that they are the breadwinner and the other person stays home and takes care of the children. Notice I said person, I didn't say woman. So this could very well be, since most of the people watching my videos are women, if you are a woman and you, a female Pisces, and you tend to like um, not look at men who have a job that is lower paying than yours and you won't even consider them, understand that if you want to have a long-term relationship and you want to start a family, maybe you're the one that could be the, bre the chief breadwinner. And even if it seems unconventional and you're afraid that other people are going to think, oh, he's just um, sponging off of you. I, if it was the other way around, would you think that that was fair? If the woman is staying home taking care of the children? That is a job. So um, I'm, I'm bringing up that scenario because with the Ace of Pentacles, that is something that I'm thinking of that is on the minds of some of you, that you're thinking about this kind of like solid relationship, not just for your own sake, but because you want to start a family. And yet you may have found that wherever you live or w the people that you're dealing with, that you have a better job, like as a woman, a, or let's not say a better job, a higher paying job than the man. And you may still have been indoctrinated to think, oh, that's not okay that means that the other person is inferior or, or something, or there's something wrong with that person. And you have to let go of that. That's not um, correct, first off. But also, it could lead to you um, being misled and going in the wrong direction. Understand that give and take in relationships means that both parties are contributing in their own way. It doesn't have to be dollars and cents. And that also, I think with the Six of Pentacles, it also means if you have the means to help somebody else out, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem with Pisces is that they tend to actually be um, very um, naive. And I, and I'm <laughs> I know that that word isn't, isn't considered a good word, but I think of it as a good word because um, believing that all people have your best interests in heart that's actually a positive thing. It means that you think the best of others. But not allowing yourself to be taken for a ride is also important. So with the Six of Pentacles, um, you also do not want to attract somebody who is um, using you for your resources. And, you know, come to think of it, that might be what that Devil card is too, that you... Maybe you're too attracted to somebody physically that you allow yourself to be taken advantage of and that you're the one that's always, um, you know, paying the bills in, in you know, in that, that relationship and that, you know, it's not fair. And even with the Knight of Pentacles, it can indicate that you're a very hard worker. So... It can go both ways. I'm not saying it can't. The outcome, this can, this can go both ways too. The outcome, um, the page of cups can be um, being too gullible. And, you know, this is a card of a child. So it's like being naive about somebody else's intentions. But it can also be a card of um, children. So it could be that this is the person that, you know, that comes into your life that you are going to start a family with. The Page of Cups can be a beginning of a re relationship that is a love-based relationship that is not just about money, okay? So the Six of Pentacles could actually be that type of person who comes into your life. I have to think of like... Um, 
a Virgo because um, Virgo rules the sixth house. And uh, <laughs> so maybe it is a Virgo. I don't know. Um, we do have in March a Virgo. Oh, no, that's actually in February. So um, I'm as I record this, we haven't even gotten to the um, February uh, supermoon. So that and that's a time when the sun is in your sign, um, Pisces. So that's your solar return period. So maybe that is the, the timing of this, even though this is for March. Maybe that is kind of like telling when you first meet this person. Who knows? But it definitely, um, this with the Page of Cups, it could be a situation where you are beginning a relationship with somebody that has that sense of... Um, emotions connected to it so that would be good because I think like I said before that you need um, that particularly as a Pisces individual it'll now I don't think it'll ever be enough to have just a relationship where you and another person are very um, you know you're both career people and that's enough for you there may be some signs where they really feel like, hey, you know, we're like, it's almost like they're business partners where they're, they're building an empire together. And actually, this card to me could point to that. But you need love too. And I'm not saying that earth signs don't need love, but they may be able to uh, put aside the romantic side of things just for that pragmatic um, goal that they have. And you really crave the the romantic, the feelings, and all that. So, in any way, um, in any case, Pisces, I hope that you enjoyed this. Happy solar return to you. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.